I want to respect you, but how? This is not comfort. Nobody should live like this. But the truth is, the one that they will never see. Hey guys, it's Jermaine and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time on my channel, I just want to say welcome. My name is Jermaine. I make videos about the fat acceptance, fat liberation, body positive movement. I share with you guys my thoughts in this community and also how they influenced my life back when I was obese myself. I followed a lot of their teaching. I believed in a lot of their ways. And then somewhere along the way, I had an epiphany. I was like, what's wrong with you, Jermaine? Get it together. I lost a bunch of weight and now I'm here making videos exposing this community. So if you're into those kind of videos you'd like to hear my take on stuff then you might want to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell because i upload new videos at least once a week and if you're returning to my channel i just want to say welcome back thank you for clicking on this video thank you for being a part of my little family here on youtube i love you guys i appreciate you so much you make me love doing what i'm doing so for today's video i thought of looking at something a little bit more positive because i always pick on and talk about like all the annoying stuff that fat acceptance do Because I feel like it is important. Like we need to talk about this. It is not okay to just let fat acceptance continue doing what they're doing and think that nobody has anything to say about it and they can just get away with influencing a lot of people. They can just get away with damaging a lot of people. And I think it's important to continuously talk about this and continuously just expose them. Just a reminder that I am very fat and very sexy. And I am 100% glorifying obesity. And there's nothing. At the same time, I also want to talk about some positive people who are on a weight loss journey, who are also big and who are also just trying to be better. So for today's video, that's what we're going to look at. If you've been watching my videos for some time or if you're new to my channel, I really hope that you see my heart behind the things that I'm saying. I'm not just out here wanting to talk bad and bash like all these obese people. I mean, I was an obese person myself. I know what it's like being obese. Like the last thing I would have wanted is people just being mean to me for no reason i do not believe that it's okay to hate on fat people who are just living their life and doing their own thing like that is absolutely not okay i'm not a fan of that i don't do that i don't want you guys to do that what i will do is i will point out and i will talk about people who are making it seem as if being fat is a good thing there's nothing wrong with my body fat is not a dirty word if my body tells me something i will make sure it is hurt if my body being fat is not damaging to your body not damaging to your self-esteem like being an obese person is something that needs to be celebrated showing off my belly my back rolls my thighs physical features i'm oppressed for vilified for and hated for i am body positive now that I'm attacking because that is not true. That's a lie and a lie that I was sold. I was sold that lie for the longest time. I feel like I wasted my 20s because I believed in a lot of fat acceptance mantras. These people told me that I was beautiful just the way I was and that my the reason I was big, it is not because of anything that I was doing, but I was built this way and it's genetics. And I believed all these lies. I believed that maybe my country don't accept me this way because my country is so unaware that I'm actually beautiful and I don't need to change. And maybe if I go to a Western country, like they'll be more accepting of me because most of the fat acceptance people were from western countries and so i genuinely believed that there was nothing wrong with me i didn't need to change i was perfect i was one of those people that hyped up tess holiday i was one of those people who were hating on people who were shaming tess holiday because i felt tess holiday was beautiful and why is she like being shamed for being a model because tess holiday has a beautiful face which is true she does have a beautiful face but at the same time she was promoting obesity and my ignorant self just never realized that so now that i have i am not gonna shut up about these things i'm gonna talk about it i'm gonna show you guys the type of people that used to influence me because it's wrong it's a lie and it's out to kill and destroy people anyway I can't believe I just started off my video on a rant. Let's get straight into today's video. So today we are looking at a TikToker that I found, a TikTok account. I don't think she's from England. I think she's like from Scotland or something. And um, her account and her username is Derry Crow Pop. Derry Crow Pop. 
I hope I said that right. I'll just put it over here. If you guys want to go check her account out, put her TikTok username here. She's a plus size TikToker. She's not morbidly obese, but she's plus size. I found this so relatable and I figured that you guys might also find this relatable because I know a lot of you guys who follow me, you're either on a weight loss journey or you've lost a bunch of weight. acceptance would look at this and they'll be fuming because how dare you expose us like that being huge okay being abnormally huge i'm not talking about slightly overweight i'm talking about fat like fat fat not this wake up six but being an actually bigger girl is physically uncomfortable and here's why now if you ask fat acceptance why is it uncomfortable physically for you to be fat they would pull something like because chairs are not big enough they're built for tinkerbell because walkway hallway walls are not big enough or elevators are not built stable enough or large enough restaurant booths or apartment buildings are fat phobic like that would be the reason why they would say that it's physically uncomfortable but the truth is the one that they will never say the one that they will never admit to is that it is physically uncomfortable because your body literally feels uncomfortable just doing everyday day-to-day -day normal people things and that's because you were not made to carry all that weight our skeleton our heart is not made for all that excess which is why i feel like the bmi is helpful to be slightly overweight on the bmi is not that big a deal but to be severely overweight or to be obese or morbidly obese is bad because the way you and i were built there is a reason why a certain height is only able to carry a certain amount of weight like there is a reason why we were created the way that we were created but then fat acceptance argument will be but how about the bodybuilders? How about those women or men with like a lot of muscles? They are also heavier on the BMI chart because somehow you all live the same lifestyle they can compare like that. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nutritionist or a fitness coach or a personal trainer or anything like that. Okay, so who am I to talk? How? What do I know, right? So everything that I'm saying is based on my common sense and a little bit of knowledge based on my weight loss journey. I would think that someone who can lift 200 pounds, like lift it, up, is built strong enough to carry the muscle and the weight that they've created in their body their bones are strong they're built a certain way they have the energy and the strength to carry all the muscles that they've built at the same time they also choose all the right foods so they eat very clean and they make sure that everything they eat is to maintain or to look the way that they look we're not talking about people who take steroids and stuff like that. Okay, that's another topic. We're talking about just the general people who lift weights and who are heavier on their BMI side. While you have built a body made out of a cheeseburger diet, and so you're carrying like majority fats, like flabby fats, fat, and you can't do much physically. You're panting just talking to people as you make your point about the BMI chart. I want to respect you, but how? You won't even acknowledge that walking for a long time does take a toll on your knees when you're carrying a lot of weight. I'm sorry, but that's a fact my body was in a lot of pain when i was obese when i weighed 120 kg my body was in pain all the time my body was in discomfort because when i sat for too long on a chair that's not very comfortable my back started hurting i needed to take like 12 pit stops just walking for a two kilometer walk and it's a linear walk it's not even like it's not even like a hill my school had a trip and I, I was a librarian when I was in school and we had like a librarian trip and I remember we had to just go on this like hike in the forest somewhere there, it was a linear hike guys like there was no hills it was just a tiny forest the hike was for two kilometers I was 16 years old and I had an asthma attack because I couldn't walk for long and I was out of breath no one was running it wasn't a sprint we were just walking casually and the teacher had to give another guy my bag and ask him to carry it for me because so he had to carry his bag and my bag because your girl was fat and so unfit I felt so useless I was so useless and so pathetic fat useless and pathetic I remember my mom used to massage my knees for me this is so embarrassing. Like my mom used to always have to massage my knees for me because my knees would be in great pain from just doing everyday regular people's walking. Because all that weight does press on your knees and it's not good. It does hurt. And fat acceptance would never admit to this, but that's a fact. 
they would love to talk about all the things that you do wrong, that all the things that you could change to fit their comfort. But they would never just talk about the fact that, hey, actually, the truth is, I'm also not very comfortable in my body because it does physically feel pain. The chafing of the thighs, the overflowing from chairs, butts getting stuck in chairs. I did share this story before about how I used to get stuck in the plastic chairs that has like a hip, the plastic chairs that has armrests. Sometimes my butt would kind of get stuck in there and I have to try to like gently figure out how to push myself all the way to one side and then lift it up and then push myself a little bit to the other side and lift myself up. This is not comfort. Nobody should live like this. We should value ourselves enough to know that we shouldn't live like this. This ain't normal. As a teenager, when I would go on sleepovers, I couldn't sleep on the sleeping bag. I couldn't sleep on the floor. Like my back would hurt because of my butt. Like my butt to back ratio was a bit off. Okay. Like my butt was so huge. I wasn't comfortable any angle that I tried to lie down it's because my body was like this so this is my this is my my legs this is my butt when i'm lying down and then this is my back and i remember my mom used to tell me what if i put a chair for you <laughs> what if i put a chair for you at your back and a chair for you at your leg do you think you'll be comfortable so your butt just floats down <laughs> just floats down in the middle i think my mom and my sister asked me this i they were they were kidding they weren't being serious but seriously like i couldn't do sleepovers i needed a bed i couldn't sleep on the floor like that and then she said how clothes don't look good on you nothing looks good on me shopping makes me cry and summer is a torture this is so true but if you ask fat acceptance they would make it about the shops the stores you guys are the problem you said clothing don't make her look good which is true what sucks is that everything that you put on you cannot figure out clothes that's going to look flattering as a whole because when it covers one place it exposes another part of your body that's unflattering and you just don't feel good all around but if you ask fat acceptance they cannot relate to this because they be wearing crop tops and everything that they want to wear they don't care how they look because they genuinely believe they look good i look so friggin hot you don't even know you don't even know how hot i look I know people got to be upset. You spend your whole life trying not to be a fat bitch because you think it's like the worst thing in the world. And then you see a broad like me, just a big behemoth, living my best life. That's just got to hurt. I don't know if they genuinely believe that. Based on what you see on social media for fat acceptance, it looks like they genuinely believe that they look good because they have a whole bunch of people commenting, oh my gosh, babe, you look amazing. Slay queen, slay. And all of that. So of course they're going to believe that they look amazing. So they cannot relate to the normal fat people, the rest of the world fat people. Their crop top looks like sports bras. This, the Lulus think they look just as good as the model, which is something they will never admit that actually they do not look good in those clothes and they know it. Deep down, they definitely know it. You know how clothes are supposed to look on you when you put them on. But if it doesn't look like that, that should tell you something. I can't take a luggage cover and try to cover my house with it. I used to assume that guys don't like me before even giving them a chance, which is something fat acceptance wouldn't admit because somehow in their Delulu mind, they believe that every guy likes them and they could get any guy that they want. And some of them believe that their guy look like a movie star. She goes, show me a picture. I want to see what he looks like. And I just know that in her mind, she probably thought he was going to be like some uggo, just some like gross dude. Anyways, I fucking, I show her a picture of us at a wedding and he's wearing like a nice suit. And she goes, oh my God. He looks like a movie star. And she just stared at him for like two or three minutes. And I was like, see, bitch, I didn't, I didn't need to lose shit. My fat ass could, I could do whatever the fuck I want. And I remember when I do give people a chance, I would hold on to them even though they treated me like crap. They would say mean things to me or they treat me badly. I would just stick to them because I know deep down that I couldn't do any better. And I really wanted to feel validated. I really wanted to feel beautiful. So whatever that I can take, I'll just take it. You have no self-worth or expectations. You just take it all. Whatever that comes your way, you're like... I'm willing to settle for whatever that I can get. I used to hate looking at myself in a mirror and sometimes I would think if the more I don't look at myself, the more I might forget. I used to love mirrors that only showed me my face and a birth. I never liked mirrors that showed me the rest of my body. 
I always wore cardigans. I was ashamed of my arms. I always wore leggings because I was of ashamed of my legs, my huge chunky thighs. I was ashamed of it. I never would wear shorts. I would always wear leggings. As I'm saying this, I'm just thinking kind of like Emblin Ray. But yeah, because when you're ashamed of your body, what you're going to do? You're going to cover it up as much as you can because you're ashamed. And that sucks. And fat acceptance is of no help because they tell you, no girl, rock it and just walk around like that. And no, you know that you don't look good like that. Why would you encourage someone else to do that to themselves and to go out there and then have people look at you and like what the heck make you feel bad about yourself like why would you do that i did not like what i saw in the mirror but at the same time i didn't know what to do about it i didn't know what i was doing wrong because you've embraced a whole bunch of bad habits that you believe now it is a normal thing it's a normal way of living overeating is a normal thing to do no time limit no cut off eating window no cut off to how many helpings i can have and you truly believe that this is normal two days ago my mom and i we went for dinner and we bought a plate of fried rice and then we split it in half and we had that and then we went and get baskin robbins my mom and i got one scoop each regular scoop baskin robbins and after eating that i was like i was telling her i feel so satiated like i feel like i enjoyed what i ate and i feel so like nice like i don't feel sick after eating it and i and i was like it's crazy to think that a long time ago i used to think that you only know that you had a good meal or you only know that yes i enjoyed my dinner or enjoyed my ice cream if you feel sick after like that was my benchmark of knowing when to stop which is wild and i thought that was normal i used to always buy baskin robbins two scoops regular scoop two scoops and i would always feel sick after eating it like i would feel like uh like why did i eat this whole thing and i thought that that is a normal thing like that's how you should feel i would eat like whatever that's on my plate like if i ordered fried rice or if i ordered whatever like i would finish all of it and out and that was my benchmark of like Yes, I had a good meal and now I feel so full that I could puke and that's how I know I did it right. And if I didn't, I'll go for second helpings or third helpings until I felt that way. That is a crazy habit. That is a crazy thing and I embraced it like that's my normal. So to unlearn these habits, it's hard. For fat acceptance, they don't have discipline and they will never admit that. They'll never admit that it's hard for you to try and unlearn the bad habits, the toxic habits that you've picked up along the way. It's hard for them to admit that. It's hard to learn to unlearn that. They would rather get angry at you, society, for making them feel bad for overeating, for making them feel bad that they eat too much. They would say things like, "Fat people can eat whatever they want. Fat people can eat fast food too. Money people are allowed to eat what they want without feeling guilty about it. Sure. Get Make over it." Dribble, dribble. We should pile on the three plates and don't deprive yourself from more helpings as many as you want. All this made up nonsense just because it's hard to do moderation. It's hard to seek help and fix my unhealthy pattern. So let's not tell the world or talk about our toxic traits, but instead, let's convince people that they are toxic for not condoning and supporting our three helpings per meal. toxicity. I actually like this girl's account. So she's on a weight loss journey as well. She adds a little sarcasm here and there. She's working on improving herself. She realizes that it's not okay for her to be overweight and she wants to do something about her health. Welcome to day 3 of my weight loss journey trying to lose 12 pounds in 12 weeks by according to the man on internet trying to have a balanced approach is wrong. <laughs> So of course we start a day with the gym because some men said I don't deserve a break and I should work out at 4 a.m. So yeah, I'm just showing low effort. <laughs> Bless you. For breakfast, I had banana pancakes that looked disgusting. They were actually quite pleasant. Wonder what kind of comments I would get now, especially that oh my gosh, she's using ketchup and eating fries. And also, a sweet little treat. Name one thing. One thing that is better than a watermelon. I dare you. And then a day with a yogurt because I wasn't hungry. <gasps> Shocker. I know. How can this happen to fat people? Impossible. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Welcome to day two of my weight loss journey, trying to lose 12 pounds in 12 weeks. Because according to the internet, I'm just a fat person who eats and complains. For breakfast, I had <gasps> carbs. Don't tell the TikTok police because they might arrest me. I really wanted to go to the gym this morning, but I woke up at four in the morning and couldn't fall back asleep. And then around six, I started getting like tired, <laughs> and that was the time that I needed to go to the gym. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna prioritize sleep today, and I can go to the gym tomorrow. Anxiety one, daddy has zero. <laughs> I also had to have a snack because you know, fat people just can't help ourselves. For lunch, I had quinoa, chicken breast, tzatziki, cucumber, and tomato. Doesn't she listen to the comments? Why is she eating carbs again? Oh, because I want to. This is a perfect meal. 500 calories and 45 grams of protein. Do we even live, bro? 
of course, I had to have another snack because apparently I just like to piss people off here. And end of the day with the biggest rage meal of all, burger bowl with fries. Abomination. <laughs> but end of the day in a calorie deficit, so it's all good. I'll see you tomorrow. Well, I've got a little bit more weight to lose as well. I have a second channel that I've been wanting to film my weight loss journey and put it on there. It's like a weight loss journey part two for me because I don't have that much weight to lose anymore. But I definitely still want to lose some weight. And I want to document my journey of losing that weight on my I need to get to a healthy weight I'm not at a healthy weight yet I'm still on the overweight category and I want to lose this extra weight and come down to a healthy weight category and I want to document the journey and post it for you guys not on this channel like, I have a second channel I have not posted anything yet I've been so busy that it's so hard for me to shoot content for that channel but I'm going to do it and I would love to share that journey with you guys so when it's ready I will let you know I really want to lose the weight before my birthday next year my birthday is in January end of January so I'm really like wanting to get to a healthy weight before that so that's kind of my goal right now but anyway I'll keep you guys updated so anyway that's it for this video let me know what you guys think in the comments below I would love to hear your take I hope you guys like this video if you liked it don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell because I upload new videos at least once a week and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and on TikTok. The links are in the description box below. And I'll see you guys in my next video.